Hey, BG Rides here. Thanks for tuning in. Today I'm going to do a quick install of a Bluetooth adapter on my F6B. It's a 2013 and it doesn't have Bluetooth. But I picked up one of these little adapters here. And just going to go through the process on how to put that in. Shouldn't take too long. Went and picked up a light real quick. So I can get some decent lighting for you. So the video actually turns out halfway decent. But basically this guy right here is going to be installed right, right inside there. And then I'll be able to run my phone off the Bluetooth. And I won't have to run a, an auxiliary cable. Right now I run this guy and then set up my stereo to run off the, off the auxiliary. And I just want to go ahead and get rid of that cable. And then I'll be able to run, you know, my GPS and stuff off the phone. And then run my music through the Bluetooth. And uh, I'll come right back after I get that light together. And go through the steps on how to, how to put the Bluetooth in. Okay, that worked out pretty good. Cool little light set up now. Got some good lighting that I can get in there and do some work. We want to go ahead and take this piece here off. And it kind of wraps around down here. And all I do is I just take a piece of tape and put it on a screwdriver just so I don't scratch the, the plastic up. But basically you kind of wedge it under. You just kind of work work it underneath like that and then once you get your fingers once you can get your fingers under you don't need the screwdriver anymore and it just pops off basically these two clips pop into here and that really is what holds it on and then there's these little clips right along here, these little guys. They kind of pop into, into these little slots here. And sometimes you have to kind of pop this up and you might need to work this back and forth as you're prying it up. And then there's a little piece right here. When you put this back together, this little, this little tab, you want to make sure you get that right underneath here. And that's all there is to it. So that's our first piece. Okay, the next thing we want to do is go ahead and take these little push pins, this little center part. You push that down and it, it basically disengages the pin, loosens the pin. So there's four of them. One, two, three, four. We'll see if I can pop these. You just push it down, the center part. Sometimes they spring out, so we'll go ahead and try and pull this out real slow so we don't get these guys flying around anywhere. Okay, and then this guy should I lift out and then there's a little grommet we're gonna have to take that off because that's our auxiliary cable that we're gonna need to plug this guy we're gonna need to plug this into that Bluetooth adapter so I'll get this out through this hole just like just like that. So I'm gonna get a towel, kind of rest this 
onto the side here so we can get we're going to hook in right here with the new Bluetooth adapter. So I'll be right back. So we'll take and disconnect this guy. I kind of already did it just because I didn't trying to just show you guys where it goes in. And then we'll get a little bit of some dielectric grease, kind of put it on here. Take those two, put those together like that. Okay, and then we just take this and plug it back into where we had this hooked up. I don't know if it's the easiest thing to see, but we disconnected it from there. We're going to take this guy and hook it up to there. So we'll put a little bit more dielectric grease. Like that. Try and do it so you can see. There, it clicked. Pull the boot. Get the boot back. Get the boot back around the connection there. Okay. Just kind of push it together real good. Make sure everything is connected real well. And that's all there is to it. So basically we just took the adapter. We we took this original connection. We we undid that. And we took the Bluetooth adapter and plugged it in between the two. So we will hook up the Bluetooth to this just to do a test. Now it's hooked up. Turn the bike over to auxiliary. Okay, so now we should be able to go in, turn your Bluetooth on, because now we're all hooked up. We got the, the audio jack hooked into the Bluetooth. You should be able to just click your Bluetooth. And the instructions say to look for a BLS-B1, which is right here. Pairing success. So it said it connected. And then now you should be able to just go ahead into your playlist, you know, pick a song. You might need to turn your volume up on your, on your phone, but it's all the way up. And then, yeah, works great. So now we don't have to run that cable out to here. So I'll go ahead and put all this stuff back together real quick and show you how that worked out. Okay, we got everything tucked away in here. We just got to put this back in. Like that. And then these little push pins, you want to have the head sticking up like that. Just want to take it and pop pop the head up like that and then take the pin and put it in but don't pop the head down yet see like the head just sits up like that you just go ahead and take it 
push on the collar part down into the sorry about that then you can take the center part you can hear it snap in push it down into the hole snap it in push the collar down into the hole snap it in snap it in okay there you go so far so good we got our box back in there and then we can go ahead and put this back okay and then the last piece you want to put on is the strip that goes right across here you want to start out getting this tab up underneath like that and then just kind of work it back and forth popping it back in just like that Okay, let's try it out. So all you got to do is turn it over to accessory, turn your phone on, turn your Bluetooth on. It's already connected. Hit done. You should be able to go ahead and pick any song you want. And then you might need to turn your volume up. There we go. Everything worked out great. Okay, we're all done. Uh, thanks for watching. Oh, I should probably mention that that Bluetooth setup is only good for doing your, your music. It doesn't like let you do, you know, phone calling and stuff like that. It's just so you can run your music. But anyway, still kind of cool. Um, I guess if it was your first time working on the bike, it might take, you know, an extra 10 minutes or so. But you might be looking at total time of, you know, maybe 20 minutes, 20, 30 minutes. Uh, really easy thing to do and kind of excited to go out and when the weather warms up a little bit, it's kind of nasty right now, but uh, kind of looking forward to going out and trying it. Anyway, thanks for watching, and uh, see you on the next ride. Bye.